We're getting a first look at the summer opening of the staterooms. Before the doors open to the public, of course, the curator of the exhibition, Anna Reynolds, is with me now. now Anna, I know that you are the mind behind the exhibition that everyone's going to see if they're going to come and visit Buckingham Palace this summer. Uh, this is one of your favourite parts, isn't it? Yeah, I think the kitchen display is fantastic. And it, what we're doing this year, what's really unique, is the fact that we're recreating some of the parts of the palace that people don't usually get to see. So we've made this look like the actual kitchens here at Buckingham Palace. So all of these things that we can see in this, uh, in this um, exhibition here are stuff that's used in the actual kitchens downstairs? Yeah, they're used daily. So these are actually the copper pans and moulds that were used. Some of them were used during Queen Victoria's reign, and they have her initials on. Um, one over there says VR. That one in the middle, so yeah. that's actually been used since she was here. And they're still used today. They just get retinned whenever they need to, but the staff say they're great to use. And um, Are they royal jelly moulds up there, Anna? They are, yeah. They're jelly moulds, and then these are chocolate bomb moulds to make chocolate ice cream desserts. Is there a dessert that Her Majesty likes particularly? I mean, is there a lot of jelly moulds there because it's jelly? Well, at a state banquet, a chocolate bomb is a very typical pudding that's served, and it, it was served at the Singapore State Banquet in um, last year. OK, so look, in the, 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 where, as I walked past this earlier, this struck me as the sort of thing that, that Carson would be from Downton Abbey. This is, <laughs> is this where all the sort of the head footmen and the butlers would hang out and plan all the drinks? Yeah, so we have the wine cellar, the silver pantry, and the glass pantry. So this is where the wine is dec decanted before a state banquet, yeah. where the silver gilt is cleaned and polished, and then where the glass pantry, the glass and the porcelain, much of which is, um, dates from the 18th or 19th century, and it's used still today, are kept and stored and really carefully looked after. And uh, do, do things get broken? What happens if they get broken? No, everyone's so careful because they've been really well trained in how to look after and handle these historic objects. Well, look, we've got some beautiful outfits uh, that the Queen has worn herself, and this has obviously been styled for and designed for her. Yeah, so this is a recreation of the dresser's workroom, and this is the dress that the Queen wore for the banquet in honour of the President of Singapore last year. Fabulous. And one of the things I always love about uh, royalty is the diamonds, and yeah. my wife would be would kill me if I didn't come and look at some of the diamonds. And you've got some particularly spectacular ones here for us, Anna. Yeah, so this is the display of diamonds this year, and we've got the Kokoshnik tiara at the top. This was worn by the Queen for the Mexican state visit this year. It has 488 brilliant cut diamonds in it, and it was made for Princess Alexandra. So it's lovely that the Queen's still wearing these, these jewels that were worn by her ancestors. Amazing. How much would that set me back, Anna? I have no idea. It's priceless. Priceless. There you